Hello and welcome back to question 7b. This question is on circles. So this question is quite interesting as you'll see later on because it's not one of your usual circle questions. So this question says that, hey, if you're given two pieces of information, number one, the equation of a circle, number two, the coordinates of some point, then can you tell me if it's possible to draw a tangent to the circle that passes through that point? Interesting question, right? So first of all, Let's work on the circle first because I feel like there's actually a lot of information in a circle. But we're given the equation of the circle in this form, the general form. The general form really doesn't tell me what is the center of the circle or what is the radius. So I want to change it to the standard form. I have to do a bit of completing the square. So to complete the square for x, I need to borrow a 9. To complete the square for y, I need to borrow a 16. Make sure you subtract those away. And then you should come up with this x minus 3 all squared plus y plus 4 all squared equals to 36. So the center of the circle is 3, negative 4, the radius is 6. Now, let's think about the point. How far away is the point from this circle? Maybe I can measure the distance of this point from the center of the circle. So we can use the distance formula or what I call Pythagorean theorem, x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. You should arrive at the answer of square root 26. Next, I can say that square root 26 is less than 6. Why? Because square root 26 is less than square root of 36. And square root of 36 is equal to 6. So square root of 26 is less than 6. Sorry about that. There's just a lot of 6s going on. But why compare it to 6? Because 6 is the radius of the circle. That tells me that this point is inside the circle. Now, if it's inside the circle, right, there are a few ways that we can prove that it's not possible to draw a tangent to the circle. But I think the, the one that is a bit the uh, most easy to understand and the most elegant is let's imagine a point that's outside the circle. Right? If I have a point outside the circle, how do I draw a tangent to the circle? And you should know this because if you've done enough practice, you know that, oops, that was not what I want. I wanted to draw a white line over here. We can draw one tangent to the circle this way and the other one this way. Yeah, not very exact, but you get what I mean. Yeah, so these are my tangents to the circle. And do you notice one thing? If I'm drawing a tangent to the circle, I must start first from a point that's outside the circle, and then it glances past the circle and never goes inside the circle. Right? So if I have a point inside the circle, right, my tangents will never touch that point. Okay? So we can definitely conclude from here and say that since the point 2, 1 is inside the circle, it is just not possible to draw a tangent that passes through that point. So that is question 7b. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found this question interesting and I'll catch you in the next one.